lumberjack is better than yours. If Minnesota United won a big win tonight, they're going to rely on the support of the fans. They're going to need a sold out crowd to be behind them, and they're going to need to give a good performance against a very good Portland Timbers team. Oh, he's fizzed into the edge, easily steered away, and Polo from range, and scrambled away by Bobby Shuttleworth. The vocal aspect of Michael Boxel much more present throughout this season. Is again the former Vancouver man alongside Michael Boxall in the starting 11 today. Here's Rasmus Schuler, Finland international. Again, another player returning to the starting 11. Straights into Maximiano. Schuler. Quintero, he's there, an early opening for Minnesota, Quintero, he's in here, it's still pound away by the goalkeeper. Here's Blanco, perhaps an opening at the other end now, Blanco was unbalanced, swiftly dealt with, although he feels as though Vara. Scrambled away by Villafania, Guzman losing out, and now this is Darwin Quintero. Scrambled away by Ridgewell right at the vital moment. Ibarra, Schuler, Calvo, and easily claimed by Steve Clark in goal. Steve Clark, the man who started the season with DC United very much a part of the starting 11 at least for the time being and he may have some work to do here as Romario Ibarra maneuvers forward Ibarra goes for it from range who's man on hand here is the Colombian DP again spread out wide Caro's ball in Calvo's Powell the man denying Francisco Calvo and down the line he goes Quintero Miguel Ibarra, Ibarra lashes it towards goal and it's uh, easily dealt with by Portland Timbers, not once but twice. Pressing high energy in the opening 13 minutes here for Minnesota, lovely ball through through, it's Miguel Ibarra, just wide. So many good things about that offensive sequence throughout the last two minutes, too many really to point out as the run of play continues. Alvis Powell, the Jamaican international. Viafania. As Jamie mentioned in the pregame show. Blanco, the Argentine designated player. Repelled by Ridgewell. Both calm under pressure. It's Maximiano here. Here comes the Brazilian. Easily gathered at the near post by Clark. And plenty of pressure on the opposition. We are seeing a fine example of it here. Bob with a beautiful ball over the top. Quintero's on side. Quintero's through here. It's still Quintero into Romario Ibarra. It is fabulous. They sustain spectacular. As if there was ever any doubt. And this is it. He's got plenty of time and space, but it's the weight of the pass over the top, beats the defender, and falls on Darwin Quintero's foot. Calm, composed, takes a touch, cuts it back inside. Could have taken this one himself. He knows. Look at that. So much time and space for Fernando Bob to serve that ball, but it's a run from Darwin Quintero. It's a supporting run from Romario Ibarra. Ridgewell comfortably into Villafania. Miller away. Down the line go the Timbers. Oh, swiftly dealt with by Francisco Calvo. Lies now on him. The Timbers trailing. He's pile forward for Minnesota. And play in tight quarters. Devilish and dangerous. And unfortunate. Quintero, dealt with by Ridgewell, at least for the time being. Here's Andres Flores, the El Salvador international, into Blanco, the Argentine. 
twisting and turning and toying. Well dealt with. Goes out for a throw-in instead of a goal kick or a corner kick. Flores! Oh! Well, there is just a whisker wide from getting Portland Chippers back into the game. Blanco. Stabbed away by Kalman, awkwardly but effectively. And lifted forward now for Quintero, who has strayed into an offside position. One month from today, pretty much, pretty close. Plenty of time to still get those tickets. She will stay with us for the Honda Halftime Show as well, because Jamie Watson will have a Minnesota soccer legend alongside him to talk about. The Bob of all people on the left-hand side. Romario Ibarra able to wriggle through. The Timbers' back line remains stern. Cut us off, but just to wrap it up, Romario Barra's speed can play that we can have him get in behind much quicker than Angelo Rodriguez or anybody on the roster, to be quite frank. Adrian Heath loves that about him, tells his player. The Afania and last of all's golden over. Well, it's the first real opening for Portland Timbers. It has to go down as a really good opportunity for them. Pushed forward now, and Viafania on hand only momentarily. This is Miguel Ibarra. Tero was forced to stretch. Here is the little Colombian again, all the way here. Quintero! Oh! Now it's a really good save at the near post by Steve Clark. A blistering run from Darwin Quintero, who deserved more. Well, he had a birthday a couple days ago, and he wants to show the fans what he's capable of. Just making people look a little silly defensively. Two plays there. Quintero. Schuler. Space for Ibarra! Off the woodwork! If you're a Minnesota United fan, so many bodies piling forward, putting the pressure on right in front of the support. Inside the penalty area. The scarves, as always, are up in Minnesota. Quintero's ball in. Carmen rises! And very nearly makes it 2-0. You flick that on with his body towards the goal. Steve Clark in a perfect position. Another cheap turnover. Through now for Romario Ibarra! 2-0! Blistering! Brilliance! A brace for Romario Ibarra! And Minnesota United are in dreamland here! Really is, uh, capitalizing on their chances. But this comes once again from a Portland Timbers turnover. Just when they get the ball, they relieve some of that pressure, they get it at midfield, and they turn it right back over to Darwin Quintero. He doesn't waste any time. He turns around, he opens his hips, and he finds a Romario Ibarra on the run, perfectly in stride, one time, left-hand corner, beating Clark. Finish is huge. Kendra, you were just saying about keeping teams around. If you don't finish your chance, one goal wasn't going to be enough. That's a massive goal for Minnesota United, and it's so loud down here, and it's about to get even louder as Miguel Ibarra builds through the attack. Well, he very nearly picked out Darwin Quintero with the loons down to ten men for a moment or two. Viafania. The two away trips at DC United and Real Salt Lake. This changes things completely for the Loons. Well, it does, and now we just talked about what does Romario Obara do. Jamie talked about that earlier, using his pace, getting in behind, playing those balls in over the top. And Darwin Quintero continued to run, make those runs in behind or find himself in front, running off of Angelo Rodriguez as he checks back to the ball. Here is Quintero once more, who goes for goal himself. Oh, my words! Well, that would have been absolutely sensational. Clark is new to you guys. Did you talk to him about getting chipped by Darwin Quintero because he seems to find his way? Over the ball again. It's a dink forwards, looking for Calvo. Angle against Rodriguez. Corner for Minnesota. And perhaps another opening for Adrian Heath's men. Scarves up in Minnesota. Quintero's ball in. Got something on it. Andy Polo even more. Too much in the end. Miller inside for Quintero. It's Fernando Bob. Champion with Fluminense back in 2010. Do things nicely here. Rodriguez. Touches it down. And it will be a corner once again for Minnesota United. Quintero again. Leicester Woods goal, and my words, it's Michael Boxall! Portland 
perplexed and plunging. Minnesota United are flying and lead by three goals to nil. This ball comes through and it just goes off Rasmus Schuller, takes the deflection off of his chest. Nobody steps to the second ball. It sinks through just by Liam Ridgewell. Michael Boxel trailing on the back post on the run there. Look at that left foot and he buries it. Here's Rasmus Schuller. Blanco. And cut out by Maximiano. And the Portland Timbers in their last road outing were heavily defeated by four goals to one to Houston Dynamo. And as the half comes to a close, it does seem as though they may very well be victim of another heavy defeat. Still 45 minutes to go. Thomas Konechny and Kindred, this provides so much more stability in midfield for Portland Timbers. Well, and Thomas, Thomas Konechny, just the victim of poor play by the entire Portland Timbers roster. Williams, Kindred, E. St. Aubin and Jamie Watson, your commentary team. It's Major League Soccer on Fox Sports North. Minnesota United with some defending to do here. Polo trying to find a way through. Cavill got the last touch. And it will be a corner, much to the dismay. Four of their last five home games. Of course, their last home victory came in sumptuous fashion, a 5-1 thumping of LAFC. They may have a chance to look for number four here. The pass well cut off by Diego Chara. Every once in a while you see him make a run forward, but that's not what his, his duties are. His duties are defensively just to put a little pressure on too much time and space for Darwin Quintero as he was checking in midfield and now. How does this change things from a Darwin Quintero perspective? Well, good question, Cal. As Portland Timbers look to me as they build through Armenteros here. We'll get to that in a moment. Armenteros seeking support. He goes alone here and fires wide of the intended target, but an early sign of life from Portland Timbers in the opening stages of the second half. One goal. All forwards. And actually glanced down from the intended targets. Bobby Shuttleworth is irate with his defenders. I was out of the right foot, bends it around the defender. Miguel Labar making a nice little run inside once again. Really good step by Boxall who gets himself involved again. Down the line they go. It's Darwin Quintero. Another near post save from Steve Clark. Here's Armenteros. He goes this season, unable to maneuver forwards. Both thumping it to the far side. Lovely touch inside by Ibarra. Moons remaining resilient. Kidley passed over to the far side. Blanco's ball in. Can Portland find a way back into the game here. Flores is ball in, steered away to the edge, and Lester Watts got my words! That's a fabulous goal from Alvis Powell. He's nearly taken the skin off it. And he's nearly put a hole in the roof of the next. The ball first, he gets to it. But look at this header. He tries to defend it, deflected, redirected out, but it falls right to the foot of Alvis Powell. Plenty of time to take a nice, clean first touch off the chest, and he volleys it out of the air. Decision to do that in that moment, up 3-1. Well, they have a chance for four. Miguel Ibarra, really good save this time from Clark. This is what we were talking about. Good play from midfield. Darwin Quintero once again. Miguel Ibarra running off the left shoulder. I think Miguel Ibarra has to do a little bit better on that one. But I think Clark does well coming off of his line. Here's Shula. Rodriguez trying to power through. Rodriguez across. Ridgewell out. Low in precarious position. Miguel Ibarra. And the referee blows the whistle in favour of Portland Timbers. Calvo. Just unable to thread it through for Darwin Quintero. Maybe Guzman will be the man delivering. Lovely shape to the cross. Away by Angelo Rodriguez of all people. Boosted forward again. Coleman with a towering header away. Flores. Contested by Maximiano. And the challenge on the Brazilian. It was deemed illegal. 
And a free kick to the home side. Diego Chara continuing the move. Coleman getting his body in the way. Another corner though for Portland Timbers. Broncos ball in. Come all the way through. And it required a save from Bobby Shuttleworth. Unorthodox, but effective nevertheless from the Minnesota goalkeeper. Well, it was like his body was going one way. He's on the left-hand side. He's got to dive back. Look at him. He's moving to his right. And somehow... The Indeed, Rasmus Schuller. Right, Schuller. From your screen, Diego Valeri will be coming on for Portland Timbers. We'll get into Jamie in a moment or two. Quintero's ball in. Calvo with a header. In the end high and wide. Flores coming off and Diego Valeri, Jamie Watson coming into the fray. Yeah, the 2017 Landon Donovan MLS MVP comes in. What a luxury to have him coming off the bench. He may have had Diego start, but instead he comes on in the 73rd minute. Look for him to try to create going forward. Not much defensively. He'll do the bit to get back into the right spots. Coleman steering away. And Quintero is onside here. Quintero does it again now! Oh. Fernando Adi away. They traded him away to FC Cincinnati for, for their first season in MLS next season. And Armentero's kind of let his guard down a little bit, put his feet up, relaxed. And it's interesting to see. It's not been his night tonight, but when he gets going, he's a force to be reckoned with. As is Darwin Quintero, who is dealt with right at the vital moments by Diego Chara. Angelo Rodriguez getting closer and closer. Rodriguez, another save by Steve Clark. He continues on. Schuler steered away by Ridgewell and picked up by Calvo. Valeri, Viafania, Blanco, 3 2. Now then. The heads are turned in the Twin Cities, and Portland Timbers are right back in it with 10 minutes to play. Inside the 18-yard box, watch this. You see the back four, but then he kind of trails off. He steps off, so he leaves his mark by stepping off of Brent Coleman. He keeps his run. He holds it and finds himself wide open right at the penalty spot. Easy finish for him. Left-footed, just puts it in. Miller. So confirmation of the Timbers substitution. Monteros sees this evening end prematurely. Jeremy Ibobese will be coming on, Kid Release St. Well, and he's the player of Obese that has created some competition. On Monteros up top after Fernando Ani left. He started two games in a row throughout this last week, starting against Houston. Played really well in that match. Some good hold up play, helping his team in possession, out of pressure, out of the back. Chara latching onto it. Polo forwards. Maximiano unfortunate. Polo. Chara. And last of all, goal and over. What a glorious opening that was for Portland Timbers, who wants a corner. And they will get it. Well, we talked about how there's no shortage of options in the midfield if needed to make one. And that was earlier with. Here is Quintero. And Rodriguez. And still. It just wouldn't go in! Of Portland second, in towards Diego Valeri. Viafania's ball in! Polo! Panned away by Shuttleworth! Bob and Valeri tussling on the edge, and it will be a free kick <gasps> and a red card! So it will be Valeri just over the bar. And a huge collective sigh of relief from a Minnesota United point of view. The home fans screaming. They want the whistle. It still doesn't come. Now they get the whistle. Home victory number nine of the season for Minnesota United.